the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight, he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become a champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight time. Born in Uzbekistan, where they fight at weddings. Here is Kazakhstan, Shavkat Rachmanov, one of the best welterweight prospects in the world. He has finished every single one of his professional wins. He has never tasted defeat. And even though he is not in any great rush for a championship opportunity, the fan base is. They want this man fighting for the title with immediacy. He's sort of content to bide his time. This is the big spot here tonight. If he can win this fight and handle this particular stylistic challenge, for my money, there's nothing left. All eyes on Kazakhstan shop, not Rachmanov here tonight. Both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Vegas, Nevada opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world, and if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. He checks the leg kick. Yeah. Hook to the head by Rachmanov. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Pretty good jab there by Rachmanov. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, 
So Rachmanov's now switching his stance. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, nice right hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Just over three minutes to go round one. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Rock Mono. Sidekick is true. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. Yeah, looks a little badly on his feet. Oh my god, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Just over two minutes to go. A beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the hole. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. All right, you're next, huh? Heading back to the corner now after that round. Rachmanov's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there, and I want All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing. But he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. <laughs> they laid it all on the line. They dropped a quarter in the middle of the octagon, <laughs> and they said, let's go. What a round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on.
throws that deep. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Nice little shot, Lance. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Out of range with that one. Oh, big left hook there. Try to establish that jab. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Rachmano. Just over two minutes now to go. It's a pretty fast jab. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well-placed kick there by Rock Mama. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. One minute to go in round two. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Just out of range with the big right hand. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Man, he really does a nice job getting his foot off the canvas to the target, continuing to cause damage to that upper leg. He does a great job, man. He sets it up. It's not like he's throwing him blind either, John. He throws a jab in front of it. He throws a right hand in front of it. He always tries to hide what his true intentions are. And right now, his intentions are to beat up that time. To this point, he has done it. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is 
when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh! Oh, got to keep pressing here. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big shot on the feet! All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has returned. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. So Rachmanov's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that has already compromised on his opponent. Just unable to quite find that range. Rachmanov's limping heavily now. Might not be a bad idea to raise that knee, try to check a kick. I'm just not sure how many more he can take. Back to his feet. Barely missed on his upper side right here on the inside. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just missed with the elbow there. Beautiful connection, Lance. Fighting long is the key. Oh. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Another bad. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Went for the inside leg kick. Big power shot there. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you, like, rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean, you want to do less as possible. You want to just sit there and watch. The reality is, though, he's got some work in front of him after this fight. And so does the cut, man. We are bloodied and battered here in the octagon. All right, so the ref is going to step in here, yes, and call on the doctor to look at that nose job. Might need one after this fight. <laughs> He might, because his face looks so different. He's unrecognizable from yesterday. The blood has really become a problem for him. As Michael Bisping might say, we have a cheeky situation here, <laughs> but it looks as though the fight will continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? You ready? 
All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the school. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance. And as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they are thrilled. They start booing. And sometimes guys' eye is hanging off the side uh -huh. of his head. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about this champion. He is getting lit up right now, John. Back to the feet now. Missed on the right hand. Oh, nice jab there by Rock Mono. Another knockdown! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Sean. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people.